Welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 2 Resurrected with me, Jerupidus. And as you can see, darkness has fallen over the desert. The uh, vipers... The uh, claw vipers, I should say, are somehow using some kind of ritual to cause an eclipse that's lasting... Seems to be kind of permanent. And uh, I don't want there to be a permanent eclipse, so we're going to have to destroy them. And conveniently, we also need to search the Claw Viper Temple for the headpiece to the Herodric Staff. So, uh, why don't we get a move on? But before we do, one thing I want to do is I think I'm going to use up my remaining skill points. So I was looking it over, and I can just go ahead and spend them now, because a Blessed Hammer gets more damage from both Blessed Aim and Vigor. So we could go ahead and put another point in Vigor, and I think I'm going to do that. And then we could put another point in Blessed Aim, but why don't we just max out Vigor for right now? That will also speed up uh, our running around and stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that's all of our points for now. Now. We can go ahead and take our waypoint. And do we want to go to the far oasis? Maybe not. We'll just take our town portal back to the lost city. And uh, get to killing stuff with hammers like we do on the daily. This is kind of a walled-up environment, so I think I'm just going to stick with my, uh... Just melee attacks for now. A flying scimitar. Any poison bee? What a jerk. I can't, like, hit it. There we go. Oh, man, this increased run speed is so nice. So we did find this in the last episode to the ancient tunnels, and I think we should just take it on. I think this is just going to be another one of those generic dungeons. Goodbye. Recharge Shrine, I love that. Let's just go nuts with our hammers then. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out a better hand position so that I can have a finger on a potion, but also be able to switch between my auras. Not enough mana. going. But this is the fun part. Our hammer damage is coming along pretty nicely. Um, it's always going to be just like pretty gross, honestly. <laughs> just disturbingly good. fun of this game to me is like seeing how big of a mob you can get all grouped up and then just absolutely melting them. I'm a little sad our mana recharge shrine is already gone.
All right, let's get our melee attack back out. Deal with these unique monsters. Oozbacks. <laughs> Rare light belt, I'll take it. Let's check out this Volge. 7 to 26, and then 21 poison damage. That might be better than what he's got. Yeah, definitely. I'll put that to good use. I'm sure you will, Ilzon. You're my favorite. Glowing chesty. I love it. I can't carry you. Too many magic items to even carry, but there is a ring. So let's go ahead and town portal. Get this stuff identified, and then we'll pick up the rest of that crap. Greetings. Greetings. Ooh, plus three lifesteal, huh? That would be nice. That does add to our survivability, but... Eh. We have maybe a few too many potions. There's only, like, so many you can carry that's reasonable, and then it becomes, like, burdensome. So Havoc Log, plus two to life, cold resist eight, and poison resist eight. Eh. We're gonna keep our binding anyway. All right, let's grab the rest of that crap. Ooh, a magic full helm, I like that. I at the very least like the idea of it. Plus three to life. I could wear this if I had my little uh, strength amulet, but I think we're fine without it. Should have put away the charm, or the, uh, sapphire, but... Alright, let's town portal again. Boy, is there any way I could fit this in? It's, like, pretty close, right? It would seem not, though. What a pain. Good to see you. Good evening. Yeah, I mean, that would be kind of cool, but eh. 10 to 24. Can he even use scythes? Let's find out. I'll put that to good use. He can. But 10 to 24 is not nearly I'll as good as this. Good oh, okay. Use. I was just curious. Might be able to wear this uh, full helmet of the jackal, though. Let's check that out. I'll put that to good use. Perfect. All right, let's stash the uh, sapphire. Maybe I should be doing it this way. That makes more sense, right? <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get to sprinting through this place again. I think that might be it, although there is a little section over to the right that uh, we haven't quite finished. to the Lost City, and we gotta find this Viper Den.
Alright, finding some cool stuff now. At the very least, like, more magic stuff, so I feel like the magic, uh, find gear is working, although it's definitely hard to tell. Let's get some mana potions back in our belts. I love it so much. <laughs> it just feels so good when you get that real big mob. Oh, it's great. My understanding is that this is the most popular build in Diablo 2, like, period. And it makes a lot of sense. It really is just a joy to play. that rejuvenation potion. And let's just finish up checking out the rest of the city before we head into that next area. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and get our belt right. This can go, and this can go. Yes, yeah, so there's a way up and then a way kind of back. So why don't we check this one first? Valley of Snakes. Okay, this is where we want to be. And there's the Claw Viper Temple. I wonder how this fire tower works. Like, it must just be magic? Because <laughs> that thing makes absolutely no sense mechanically. Okay, I think we're ready to head inside. Let's do it. Light guide my way in this accursed place. Oh, light's gonna guide our way for sure. You can just hear them hissing, it's so great. Like, listen guys, this eclipse has been going on for long enough. Oh boy, look at this. Monster Shrine, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit, um, because I left behind at least one magic item. Yeah, this trident. I can't carry any more. So let's get our belt together. Pick that up. Now I feel a bit better. Ooh, one of them's got knocked back. I like that they're just called salamanders. Like, those are not ordinary salamanders. <laughs> Alright, magic chainmail, that's pretty cool. Ooh, and a rare longstaff. Okay. We're starting to be able to kill stuff so fast that I'm, like, missing things, so... Let's try and calm it down a little bit. I can't carry any. We don't need to be, like you know, Mr. Crazy Mega Efficient. Yeah, 
Like, might not need that. All right, let's town portal. Oh, God, I can't even click on it. There we go. I need some mana potions anyway. Blessings to you. So let's see. Chainmail of Remedy. Poison length reduced by 25%. I can't wear this, but maybe my uh, mercenary can. Let's see. He's just got 75. This one's 73, but it reduces poison length. I mean, we are getting poisoned a lot. I'll put that to good use. Why not? Prevent monster heal. Hmm. 5% lifesteal. That might actually be pretty good for my mercenary. Hold up. Yeah, I kind of like the lifesteal for him. It will make me... I'll put that to good use. Not have to heal him as much, although the attack is much, much worse. Okay, I'll never mind. I take all use. that back. <laughs> yeah, poison resist 20 is not gonna do it. Although, like, I don't know. This is kind of awful, right? But, like, I'm not going to get rid of it. Eh. Just one modifier in a ring is just not good enough, I don't think. All right, let's get back down there. Grab that long staff. Is there anything else here? Thought maybe. Chip Topaz, that's what I wanted. Yeah, let's get in here. Oh, I forgot to buy mana potions. That's kind of a pain, isn't it? I was kind of hoping maybe I'd just find some, but no. Okay, fine. Whoops. We can identify this long staff, though, which I'm kind of interested in doing. Good evening. Look at this thing. We're not going to use it, but it does seem pretty cool. I like the resistances, but we can just get rid of it. How may I help you? And let's get some mana potions. Greetings. And I suppose we can put away our topaz while we're here. Ooh, we can even transmute it. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, looks good. And let's get our belt corrected. Probably still want to do the two slot thing. Yeah, let's get this organized. Okay, let's go. Yeah, the quest log is updated, but it's just gonna tell us the same thing, that we're in the Claw Viper Temple, and that's where we want to be. I love that hissing sound. It's so good. Alright, level up. I love it. And that's just gonna go right into Blessed Hammer, probably for a while. New stats. Let's get some more decks. actually want that trident, so let's get rid of it. I 
actually dealt me a little damage, didn't they? Nothing a few hammers can't handle, though. Boom. What? <laughs> a little bit of a roll back there, it looks like. Okay. Oh, this is so much fun. I know I keep saying it, but I am just... <laughs> I'm just having the most fun playing this. It's unreal. And it's starting to get a little more automatic to switch the auras. Which is good. There was a lot of stuff in here. I guess I should double check it. We'll take the mana potion for sure. All right, moving on. Just two of them I can leave for my mercenary. Here we go. Heard something. There we go. Alright, there's level two. Let's finish up in here. Oh, amulet. Where is it? There it is. Yep, let's see if we can aggro everybody. Switch to concentrate and fling some hammers. Nothing good in here though. Just a few rats nests, but nothing special, okay. Let's get our belt reset. We can drop that. Once again, I just don't remember that I have them. Which is probably more of a me problem than anything else, but you know what? I think we'll be just fine without them. Oh boy, there it is, okay. There are going to be a lot of vipers in here, as you may expect. I'm just going to get in there, though. Gem shrine? Cool. A whole flawed diamond is not bad, actually. Let's kick over some urns before we get to destroying the important thing. Trident and a Morning Star. We'll be interested in checking those out in a little bit. But for right now, what we want to do is destroy this. Oh! The light can never be extinguished by evil. Oh, every one of those paladin dialogue lines is so good. And there we did it. We're the hero. I'm overburdened. The hero who is always overburdened. Morningstar might be interesting, but it's not a unique or anything. All right, let's check out the quest log. Speak with the townsfolk in Lutgolane gladly. I am overburdened. Seriously? And there's my Amulet of the Viper. So now we can also use the Herodric Cube to uh, 
restore the staff, so we get to knock both those things out right now. But let's just make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Yeah, there's a grand charm. So maybe we can fit some stuff in our belts. This thing is actually pretty good. It's not terrible, anyway. I want that. Just a grand charm. That's what I want. Alright, let's town portal it. And Kane wants to talk to us. What's up, Kane? The Viper amulet you bear is actually the headpiece of a Herodric staff. Yes, you have an uncanny knack for finding rare and valuable artifacts. Of course, you'll have to use a Herodric cube to combine the headpiece with the shaft. I've been speaking with Lord Jaren, and I sense that he is becoming more and more agitated by something. You should try to talk to him again. If he still won't take you into his confidence, seek to prove yourself a bit more. I gather that his respect for you is growing. It should be. We're the best. And they've really, really driven the point home that we need to use the Herodric Cube to make the Herodric Staff. I think I got it, Deckard. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff cluttering up our inventory. Boy, that mana steel would be nice, but eh. Yeah, none of these are better, I don't think. 7 to 24, I guess let's double check. I can never remember what my mercenary is even holding. 7 to 26, yeah, that's worse. Okay. And look at this thing, 8 to 27. Prevent monster heal, and it's actually kind of bad, right? It's a lot of text that doesn't add up to much. Five energy, I, I mean, more energy would actually be kind of nice, but I don't really want to replace either of these, I don't think. Although this thing is kind of bad. Oh, and what are you? Plus four to mana? Nah, not worth the space. Okay, I think it's time to uh, combine up the staff, but first let's talk to the townspeople. There's no trouble on my camp here. You have done well to restore light to our world. Well, at least she appreciates me. What about Geglash? I want to know what he thinks. <laughs> yes. So this is daylight. It's overrated. <laughs> daylight is overrated. I would argue that Daylight is probably properly rated. Allow and what about you, Drognan? I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horazon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Bale within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horazon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. Perhaps he does. I cannot wait to get to the Arcane Sanctuary. It's real sweet. So Tainted Sun is all wrapped up. And we still need to uh, restore the staff, but now we need to look for the Arcane Sanctuary within the palace. That's right, the palace is built over the Arcane Sanctuary. Oh, baby. Let's go ahead and make that staff, though. Mm -hmm. 
and pop the amulet and the staff in there, and let's transmute it. Look at that. Let's read the stats on this thing. It's actually pretty good. Uh, very fast attack speed, plus 10 to life, plus 10 to mana, uh, cold resist, lightning and fire, all 10, poison resist 35, and then uh, blunt damage to undead. Uh, but we don't need it right now. And we can put our diamond away, too. We're actually getting dangerously close to just a regular diamond, which would be cool. Okay. Let's check the quest log. Take the staff into Talrasha's too. But first, we gotta find that arcane sanctuary, and I kinda wanna finish what I'm doing outside. So let's get back to that now before we head to the palace. Yeah, we didn't quite finish this floor. Let's give him the hammer. What was that, a falchion? Okay. All right, that's all wrapped up. I'll see you outside. All right, so we're back to the Valley of the Snakes, and then there was one more, like, area to explore out here. And though the game is telling us we want to go to the palace, I do want to check this out. You know, it'd be so cool if in places like this, like, this is clearly a reference to ancient Egypt. There were just cool treasure boxes that you could open and see if there's anything inside. That would be a fun world to live in, wouldn't it? And I don't know, before you vilify me for being like, wouldn't it be fun to steal artifacts from other cultures? That's not what I mean. <laughs> I just mean like, it would be fun to live in a world that was more game-like in that way. All right, this looks like it's a bit of a dead end over here, so we'll give him the hammers. And uh, double back and see where else we can uh, get to in here. You know, I know I said that uh, the mobs in the desert were going to be a lot bigger, but that hasn't seemed to be true so far. So maybe I'm misremembering that, or maybe that's just something specific to, like, the Valley of the Magi or something. Boy, that is, like, wildly inefficient. Okay, we'll just beat it up. There we go. I like that you can see the potions they're carrying around in their hands. They're like, I'm gonna chuck this poison potion at you, let me tell you. There's our waypoint. Cool. And I'm going to finish up this area, but we may end up just wanting to take that waypoint back. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Some unique there, right? Dark Elder. That's a really cool name. I dig it. Right down they go. Yep, and let's check out this side quick. Then we'll probably take the waypoint back. The game is, like, giving me hints, like, go back to town. Here's a portal shrine. Here's the waypoint. Like, just go back and check out the palace. But I want to keep exploring. Okay. Let's.
let's go talk to Jaren now. What about you, Elzix? Mm. What do you think about all this? You look like a sturdy adventurer. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Nowadays, I run this here in and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. I like that he calls it adventuring when really what he did was go around with a bunch of thugs and rob people. <laughs> I don't like you, Elzix. But he is another of the uh, gambling merchants, and... Uh, we're eventually going to want to just spend all of our money on that. That's kind of what we've been saving our money for this whole time, is to gamble. And gambling is really similar to what Charcy is going to do for us, where you get, like, a random magical item. So you just want to spend a ton of gold on it until you get something good. Anyway, let's go talk to Jaren. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell-spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary lies buried underneath this palace, since Lutgalane occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care. Yeah, I would say that building your palace over an arcane sanctuary where a sorcerer used to keep demons as slaves feels like something that could go wrong at some point, right? <laughs> anyway, let's check out the quest log. And we're going to look for the arcane sanctuary within the palace. Now what do you say, Kalon? You may enter the palace. <laughs> a man of few words, but I like him. I don't know why, but I do. You know what, before we head in there, let's identify our stuff and grab some more mana potions so we're good to go for this. I don't want to have to come back here too many more times. Okay. Yeah, we'll just get a bunch, I guess. Excellent. You have a Herodric staff. Carry it with you into Tal Rasha's tomb. Find within the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Tal Rasha's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. You'll likely have to kill Tal Rasha to destroy Bale. Yep, once again, we must kill. But we've got our staff, so that makes us ready to take on this uh, final quest. Uh, but first we need to do this. And yeah, these are kind of related too. The way those are laid out is kind of weird in this act, but... Good day. Yeah, whatever. Get rid of this. What about you? So 14 defense, chance to block 62. That is better. Better chance to block anyway. Faster block rate, plus 2 to strength. Ooh, I do like that. You like that, but the resistances on this are so good. Uh, that's kind of tough, but I think we're going to get rid of it. We can wait for better strength buffs, I think. This is probably more healing potions than I want. Okay. Let's head into the palace. I think we're ready. We can find the Arcane Sanctuary, and believe me, this is going to be cool. All right, let's head down to the harem. I do like that the palace is one room, <laughs> and the stairs immediately go to the harem. I mean, that's what everybody wants to uh, check out while they're here, I suppose. 
All right, harem level two. I'm gonna finish exploring this first, though. Yeah, a little bit too quiet in here, isn't it? Let's go. All right. We're already making friends. It is nice that there's enough room to work with hammers in here, though. I always appreciate that. Well, look at this guy, a blunderbore. Dead. Now, where was that ring? There it is. Oh god, this music is so cool. Sound like a bunch of magic stuff in there. Yeah, here we go. Ilzon leveled up, that's our dude. All right, time to uh, fix up the belt. I think Ilzan will do a fine job protecting me while I'm doing this. Puts it around with my belt, <laughs> pulling my pants up. Get him, Ilzan. There you go. Okay, so we're back at the front. I think for now we can just switch to our regular attack while we finish exploring. Okay, there's the stairs I was looking for. Right over here, that's gonna be Palace Cellar level one, but let's finish this up first. You know, I hope I'm not. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm being too quiet because it's possible that you find me annoying. But what I was going to say is I hope that I'm not being boring at least. It's just so relaxing and so zen to play this game that sometimes I just get lost in it. And I'm like, God, how long has it been since I said anything? <laughs> But I hope that that makes it clear just how much I love this game and what a joy it is for me to be playing it again. This place is a little bit difficult to navigate. Come on, hammers, get him. There we go. Okay, down he goes. That's the last guy left in here. Horror mage, you say. I like that enemy name quite a bit. <laughs> 
If I were any kind of mage, I would choose to be a horror mage. Ooh, there's our waypoint. Let's get it. All right, only two left. And the next one's the Arcane Sanctuary, which we're getting close to. That's pretty exciting. Our level ups are definitely slowing down a little bit, though. Which makes me a little bit nervous for the end of this chapter. It's gonna be tough. Alright, I need more mana potions. I'm already almost out. I'm starting to feel like my inventory should just be, like, almost full of them. At least until our gear makes our build uh, kind of work a little bit better. Like some kind of mana steal or uh, mana replenish would be good. So there's back to level two. So we want to go back this way. Where is the thing that dropped? There it is. The ring is the thing. I do really like the kind of multiple pathways you could take through this. It's really cool. And just a fun design. Okay, let's go back this way and check out the center. I feel like I didn't get that yet. Alright, I think we're good. But you know what? Why don't we take this back to town real quick and just get more uh, mana potions? Nothing the right potion can't cure. Let's ask him about the Arcane Sanctuary. Huh? The horizon is always out of reach, you should know that. Oh, the horizon. Oh, I see. Uh, yes, well, he was insane. Yeah, brilliant, yes, but uh, yeah, total lunatic. Yeah, that makes sense. You'd have to feel like somebody who <laughs> keeps demons as slaves has to be at least a little crazy, right? Yeah, in an effort to stay out of town as much as possible, I'm just going to bring more mana potions with us. Plus one to strength, meh. Damage reduced by two, meh. Half freeze duration, meh. Yep, let's get these all over here. All right, I'm ready. Let's get back to it. And let's see if we can just head on down. Let's get concentrate back out because I'm certain we're going to be running into enemies fast and furiously in here. Let's go. Where's that amulet? There it is. Could just go straight to level three, but I'm gonna finish this floor. One of the kind of tough things about Hammer, I mean, I talked about how you have to watch your positioning, and I think that's kind of easy to see at this point. But the other tough thing about it is that when it's your left-click attack, it can definitely come out by accident a lot more than you would like. Just because you're trying to, like, get past a mob, but you accidentally click on a mob in the back, and then that casts a hammer. It's... I mean, maybe there's a better way to go about it that I don't know, but I don't think so. I think it's just kind of the way it is. Where's that mana potion? And I heard a gem somewhere. There we go. Oh. 
Blade Vex the Slayer. Goodbye. <laughs> Once in a while, I just like to watch the hammer come around and just kill them. It's just like, wait for it. Bam. <laughs> You know, I've talked about Diablo 3 a little bit already. Um, and I will try not to talk about it too much because I wasn't really, like, a huge fan. Like, don't get me wrong. Diablo 3 is definitely a good game. Um, it is nothing like the game it was when it came out. But that being said, they tried to, uh, include what I would call, like, an homage to this build in it with the Crusader class. And because you're a crusader, you would call it a hammer dur, not a hammer din. And to sort of correct for the uh, fact that the hammers sometimes just don't hit things that are nearby you, they made it like chain lightning to you so that it was a concentric circle but always hitting. And I really liked that, but there was something about it that just wasn't... I mean, maybe it's just nostalgia goggles, but... There was something about it that just wasn't as satisfying. It just wasn't as cool. I mean, the hammer dude is the original, and he'll just always be the best to me. Let's get over here and deal with these archers. There are a lot of them. Wow. back up to level two, so let's go this way. I don't know if this combat shrine is actually helping my hammers or not. They sit in a weird place between, like, magic and physical damage. Where it's, like, definitely magic damage, but, like, sometimes physical damage buffs help it and sometimes they don't. I'm sure somebody that knows a lot more about this game than I do could elaborate on that further, but that's kind of all I know about it. I need mana. Brick and skeletons everywhere. I wonder if these are the skeletons of, like, harem employees, or if... It can't be the harem girls, I wouldn't think. Like, why would they be archers? Or maybe they're just the, uh, minions that were pouring forth from hell. Like Jaren described. Ooh, let's go. Okay, and in the center is the entrance to the Arcane Sanctuary. Let's kill the rest of these mobs and get to it. Yes, here we go. Look at that thing. Oh, it looks so cool. Let's get in there. This surely is the product of a twisted mind. I'll tell you this much, it's not the product of a perfectly sane mind. So let's find Horizon's journal while we're here. Let's go. Grab the waypoint immediately. And so this place is a great place to farm stuff. Um, there's a lot of mobs and there are basically no walls, so my Blessed Hammer is going to be fantastic in here. But let's make sure our belt is ready to go. We already chewed through our mana potion, so maybe we should head back. Yep, let's get right to it. Let's have Kane yes. identify our stuff and let's sell it off. Good day. Cold resist, whatever. Eh. Ooh, we can combine those up. Let's do that. 
Yeah, and so you can see right off the bat here, a regular diamond is uh, all resistances 11, and the gems get better than this. So it's gonna be sweet. Let's make sure we put our cube away and not act like a noob. A cube noob, even. Yep, we're still doing all the same things, but right now we're looking for Harazan's journal. Okay. And you might be thinking that this mana potion thing is pretty tedious right now, and it is. Um, but when we finally get a better belt than what we have, we'll be able to fit a lot more in our belt, and it will be a lot less annoying, I think. Yeah, that's the portal from the shrine, so let's go to the Arcane Sanctuary and let's get to it. Fantastic. <laughs> and I do really like the uh, kind of impossible geometry nature of this place in the background that's just like outer space. It's so good. And once again, what a cool palette swap and environment change. This is so good. Like, I have a lot of memories tied to this place because I grinded this place so much. Arcane Sanctuary runs are where it's at when you're kind of, um, I would say, like, middle to maybe three-fourths of the way towards the level cap, this is definitely a very, very viable place to do it. Look at all this stuff. Don dash longbow, and we're already full up. But we have a... Alright, let's kill this guy. He's bothering me. Got some menuing to do, buddy. Okay, now we can carry some more stuff. I can't carry any more. By that I mean one more thing. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get rid of this. Oh, it's big, isn't it? Okay. Very well, you win. I'll go back to town. Good day. Hello. That's got a whole bunch of uh, cool defensive buffs. I wish I could socket it, but eh. I mean... Is that any good? I mean, yeah, okay. Okay. Let's get back to that arcane sanctuary. We'll chew through these mana potions pretty quickly so our inventory won't be so jammed. Frickin' goat people. I hate them. All 
right, so it looks like where we probably want to go. I should I, I should complete the middle of this before I head all the way back. Let's get Vigor on and just get that done. Get him. Yes. All right. Back to the center. And we'll take a different way this time. I gotta tell you, there are no uh, handrails <laughs> on any of these stairs. And it seems like if you fall off, you just probably fall forever. Seems quite hazardous in my opinion. You're gonna wanna watch your step. Get a mills on. Scroll town portal, flawed topaz. It's actually a pretty good little set of drops there, honestly. You know, like, if they're not going to be magic items, that was pretty much everything we want. All right, let's get our belt filled back up. A little light on healing potions, but I think we'll be okay. Oh man. Yes, mana potions. Give mana potions. A lot of lame resist shrines. That's no fun. Could be worse, I guess. It could be one of those fire shrines that almost killed me. Oh, I should have concentration on this. Maybe why my damage is being a little wimpy. And by that I mean it absolutely is the reason my damage is being a little wimpy. <laughs> Oh, I gotta be careful over here. Yeah, so that's the end, but I kind of feel like I want to come back to that. Let's get that pointed hammer. This has got to be like the most favorable angle for my hammers. I'm getting close to being out of potions. Let's put more in vitality. And let's go ahead and get some potions on us, shall we? While we're here, we can check out the quest log. But it's going to say kill the summoner. And we're going to do that, but I want to save that for last. Good to see you. And he definitely can be very dangerous, so we're going to want to watch it. Ooh, we can combine those up. Let's do it. Getting pretty quick at that. I might leave that one in. I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> Greetings. Let's check the quest log again. Yeah, okay. We have a decent number of mana potions. Yeah, let's just go like that. I think we should be good then. For the time being. All right, back this way. Give me 
that mana potion. Let's check the middle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that was some damage. Okay. There it is. You know, let's check out those drops. I didn't actually look at them. Okay. As I suspected, it was nothing, but uh, Chris is one of my favorite swords. Let's check this thing out. I love the wavy bladed sword. And it's funny, when I go to places like uh, the Renfair or wherever, I know, like, a lot of the uh, weapon names just from this game, pretty much. Like, they must have literally had to go through an entire thesaurus for all of the weapon names. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about when I talk about Impossible Geometry. It's so cool. <laughs> Like, there's no way that this could be underneath this, but somehow it is. Oh, I love it. Let's not stand inside the fire and cast, uh... <laughs> cast our hammers. I'm a little bummed that we found the summoner, like, on the second pathway. Oh god, come on. Not a good hammer spot. Okay, let's fill up our belt. Because now we're just kind of, like, goofing off until the finale, but it's gonna be fine. Hitting him. <laughs> there we go. It is kind of funny where Hammer is amazing against like 30 enemies, and it's actually kind of bad sometimes against just one. Yeah, I guess we'll do this middle section. Why not? get through, kind of. That works for me. Spot, but we'll see. Oh, that worked out fine. Her ring, sweet. All right, let's fill back up. Oops, 
I didn't need to use that mana potion, but it'll be fine. Alright, another stash of chesties. Let's get them. I do actually kind of appreciate all of these uh, healing potion drops. I was getting a little bit light. Almost down on mana potions, unfortunately. But that is just kind of the way this build goes, at least until we get some gear that maybe we can um, find some mana steal, stuff like that. It may happen, and it also might not happen. But the basic point I'm trying to make is that it's not always going to be quite this tedious. that I think we'll be getting a little bit later. That I think recovers our MP. In fact, let's check that out. Ah, yeah, redemption. So you can just, like, pop this on, refill. Um, but we only ever get to put, like, one point in that. But it is a thing. But that's going to be, like, way more endgame stuff. We'll worry about uh, maxing out our hammer and the synergistic stuff with it first. Mana potion. Love it. All right, let's check out this side. If you guessed it would be more hell clans and stuff like that, you were correct. <laughs> All right, switch back to regular again. Should probably have concentrate on if I'm doing that. Okay, that should complete it, right? Yeah, we're good on this one. Okay. One final one, and then it's back to the summoner. Oh, this is like the portally one. Cool. So you just kind of teleport around. It's the best. This, like, very much reminds me of the Witcher. I'm just kind of picking random ones. I have no idea how any of this works. Yeah, okay, now we're back to the start. Okay. I'll take a rejuvenation potion. Shrine, why not? Just waiting for me. I mean, for the most part, they're not too maze-like. Like, it's not a puzzle or anything. Alright, do I have any more mana potions on me? I got a rejuvenation. That's okay. But it might be time to go buy some more pretty soon here.
I'll try and hold off a bit, but... Ooh, I heard a ring. Or something, right? Yep. There it is. Ooh -hoo. And so these chests at the end of all these are why this is a good place to farm. It just gives you, like, the enemies are numerous, and it just gives you a lot of chances to find something. I didn't really want that stamina potion. No way I can carry that. Yeah. Take the flawed diamond, though. These can go. Let's see. I can move this over here. These like that. And take the trident with me. Okay, cool. And I guess we can town portal now. Why not? Stay a while and listen. Identify and sell. You know the drill. So all resistance is plus three. It's got better... Actually, it doesn't have better defense. Okay. It's going to be a while before we replace this, I think. It's almost 9 to 15, but it's still going to be worse than what he's got. Okay. Sturdy, but not great. Meh. 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 And we can put our gems away. There we go. Let's get a bunch more mana potions. The right potion can't cure. And let's go take on that summoner. other side of this, though. Okay. <laughs> I like that my hammer's just still going over there. that you can kind of um, leave them behind and they'll still float over and follow you. Alright, and yeah, let's go this way. Ooh, I saw a spike shield, but... It's gonna be normal but socketed, probably. Yeah, just one socket. Eh. Okay. Mana potion, I like it. Uh, teleporters had more of a fun animation than just literally snapping you over there. But I think it's probably wise to not try to expect too much from this game. This is not the way I want to go, right? Yeah, over here. Okay. Alright, now it's summoner time. And I am maybe a little apprehensive... All right, here we go. Yep, there he is. Oh, that... <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> and it looks 
looks like he dropped... Maybe that's a unique large axe? Let's check it out. Unfortunately, it's two-handed, but the axe of Vekmar... Freezes target, plus three, cold resist 50, and plus two to light radius. And eh, that's kind of like a beginner unique. We're not going to hang on to that. All right, let's check the quest log. Return to town for more information, and we will do that. But there's Horizon's journal here. Let's take a read of that. Seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha will find it through the portal. But know that the glowing glyphs recorded here in my arcane sanctuary are the signs of the six false tombs. The missing seventh sign marks the tomb of Tal Rasha. Of the Herodrum, he might be called the foremost. It was a shining but brief moment for the mage clans when they set aside their differences and worked together against the common enemy. The Herodrum relentlessly pursued the three across the desolate empires of the east and even into the uncharted lands of the west, leaving the Archangel Tyriel's hands unblemished. Presuming the three to be vanquished, the Herodrum's unstable fellowship began to dissipate. Abandoning their sacred charge to safeguard the three soul stones, the disparate mage clans began to squabble amongst each other over petty differences. Their conflicts not only dissolved their brotherhood, but strengthened the evils which they had buried beneath the cold earth. Yeah, I'm not so sure how I feel about the Haradrim. And this will take us to the Canyon of the Magi, but we're going to have to pick that up next time. For now, let's go back to town. And let's see if we can't find uh, more information. And the person we probably want to talk to is Kane. Greetings. You must move quickly now, friend. For Diablo is undoubtedly close to finding what he seeks. Find the tomb of Tal Rasha before he frees the Lord of Destruction. I hope that this false summoner found peace in death. Unfortunately, it is more likely that he will be dragged down into hell by the demons he was bound to. Let this be a lesson to you. Demonic magic is a quick path, but its powers are seductive and deadly. I think as a paladin class, we're not too worried about being seduced by the uh, powers of the dark side, so to speak. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell this. It's just kind of medium. Hold on. Ah, uh, it's so close to being good, but just not very. All right, let's check out the quest log. That one's all wrapped up. And so now we've got to take the staff into Tal Rasha's tomb. Here's the symbol of the true tomb. The uh, other ones were the symbols of the false tombs. And I hope that you weren't thinking that that would be a puzzle. Because it's not. You can just kind of check them all and brute force it if you want to. You don't even need to remember this. But either way, we're going to go ahead and tackle that next time because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.